What's going on? Levi here from Digital Epidemic coming at you today with a video about laptop storage, specifically adding a second hard drive to your laptop. So stay tuned. First, before we go jumping into anything and tearing apart anything, Let's go ahead and go into your laptop and I'm going to show you the program we're going to be in, which is, I just typed in disks. We can get create and format hard disk partitions in the control panel here. And we're going to go into this program called disk management. So we can kind of get an idea of what it looked like before we opened it and started adding things. So we've got this one line here, disk zero and all these different partitions within it. All right, so now that we have an idea of what this looks like before we do anything, we can go ahead and add the drive now. So let's go ahead and shut down our computer and turn it off. And if you're out there wondering, uh, okay, that's great. How would you add a second hard drive? Or, you know, that's awesome that your laptop that you happen to be using, which is a Dell Inspiron 15, 7000 series, by the way, Anything I talk about, I'm going to put it down in the description so you can go check it out for yourself on the internet. But you might be thinking, okay, that's great, Levi. Yours just happens to have a additional expansion bay to add a second hard drive. What about everybody else that doesn't have that? Well, good thing you asked. You can get a device like this, which replaces your optical drive. So essentially now, you could take out your CD drive. I know, catch your breath. It's okay, you don't need it. Everything's digital now. You don't need the CDs or DVDs anymore. Replace the drive with this guy, and then there you go. You'd have an enclosure to add a second hard drive. All right, so let's start tearing this baby open with this one screw. Click, we got the end of the threads there. So now we can start peeling it open. Use our thumbs and just Pry it open and voila, we got RAM. There's our M2 hard drive that's already in there. Replaceable battery, couple fans. And here is the expansion area. So we can go ahead and take this tape out. We have taped the data cable down so it doesn't just flop around in there. That's nice of them. This one just happens to be a Seagate 320 gig that I happen to have laying around, but I'm going to make some recommendations down in the description what I think you should get. But this one just happens to be an old school platter style hard drive, meaning it has mechanical moving parts. Let's see how this is going to fit. So we're going to want to lay it like that. Now that we know how it'll go in there, I'm going to pull it back out. It looks like they have hardware in here, so we're going to pull these screws and that gives us this little drive rail on the side here we'll line it up with our hard drive i just happen to have screws from the laptop i took this out of if you don't have screws i'll link that in the description also i'm sure you can pick some up cheap off of amazon So the difference between a, a regular platter style hard drive and a SSD hard drive is that the old school hard drive that I'm holding right now has two to three discs inside called platters that are stacked on top of each other and a little actuator that reads across it. So a lot of moving parts, meaning if you ever drop your laptop or bump it or whatever during a read write and something bad happens, you could lose, you could corrupt files, you could lose all your data. A SSD hard drive, the newer ones, they have no mechanical moving parts and they're more like a, a flash drive or a thumb drive, if you want to call it that, where it's just memory sticks. You can see this one right here. It's just like memory sticks. It looks not that different from like the RAM, for instance. And because of that, it also reads and writes a lot faster. 
So depending on your budget, you may want to make that decision whether you want speed and performance or long-term storage. In this scenario, I've got my primary hard drive is the SSD for speed and performance. And then I'm adding a second hard drive for storage. So everything, the computer will run mainly off of the SSD fast hard drive and then just store files on the other one, which is ideal. All right, we got the brackets hooked up to the sides, hook up our data and power cable. Slide this guy down into place. Put our four screws back in. And that is it. We've added a hard drive. Now back in the day, you would have had to have gone into the BIOS and told that you had a new hard drive, but a lot of these newer computers just automatically find new hardware like this and set it up for you, which is nice. Then all you have to do is go into Windows, see if it's already partitioned. If not, partition it and format it. Let's get this thing booted up. All right, so we're back into Windows here. Let's go ahead and pull back open that disk manager. Create and format partitions right there. Disk management, make this full screen. And now we have a second disk here. We just had this row before. Now we have a second row down here. This has no partition on it. It's all unallocated. 298 gigabytes it sees out of the 320. So I'm gonna right click on it and click new simple volume. Click next. I'm gonna use all of it. Assign a drive letter D, sounds good. I'm gonna use the NTFS file system, which is native to Windows. And I might just call it Second HD. And finish. Awesome, that's done formatting and it popped right into the file explorer here to show us that we now have a second hard drive. So when I look at this PC, we've got our really full C drive and not very full D drive. So I can start moving some things over that don't really have to be on C drive and free up some space. Well, that's it. Hopefully you liked the video. If so, throw me a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff and let's interact on this thing. Thanks for watching everybody. Until the next video. I'm out.